I was at Princeton University to, today and I met two guys that just may have developed the next Facebook. It's called Frenzy. We want to dominate the college scene, right? So we want Frenzy to be the app that everybody downloads the second they get their .edu email address. Just a month ago, we were down here at 24,000 users. Uh, and as of April 1st, we're up to 65,000 users. <laughs> now these guys, Michael Pinsky and Vaidhi Murthy, want to bring the original essence of Facebook back uh, with some awesome twists. They use uh, the simplicity of Tinder swiping along with just allowing uh, .edu or college students to use this app. The content I see on Facebook isn't really that relevant to me. Right. Uh, so I've kind of stopped using Facebook personally. Weddings and babies. Yeah. <laughs> they want everything you see on this app to be re relevant to your day-to-day -day life. You've got thousands of users. What do you do? Like, what do you do when you get in here? <laughs> so I'm at the guys at their headquarters, a small, tiny dorm room in Brown Hall on campus in Princeton University. That's where all the magic happens, right in this tiny little room. There's a staff of 10 students, all of whom are full time. They got a staff already? Yeah, yeah, all of whom are full time students at Princeton University. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to build any sort of tools we can to automate all of this stuff. Uh, a lot of it is just us putting in the groundwork right now. We have to monitor it 24 7. We have right. to make sure everything's going well. Uh, but it's something we love doing. So yeah. these two actually met organically. They both were went to the student center to watch a Yankee Ooh. playoff game. They thought there was going to be 100 people in the student center. There were two. They became best friends, uh, talked about the app during a game of pickup basketball, and it's all been uh, kind of a snowball down from there. An alumni of Princeton caught wind of it, saw a small article on it, asked to meet with the two boys, loved the idea. They pitched them, um, you know, the app. He got along with a bunch of other alumni, raised $200,000 as angel investors, dumped it into this application. Now it's available in 143 schools. There's already 65,000 students like using it. Like, people know who you guys are, don't they? <laughs> I wanted the boys to see my living, breathing social network. So we walked out of their dorm room, right through the Princeton campus to the entrance of Princeton. That's where my social network was. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I realized that I might not need that anymore. I might not need my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter anymore because they're a little too involved in my life. You can see they're kind of squeezing in on me. I left them at the gates, joined the boys, said goodbye, and walked off. Go on, come back. Hi, I'm with you now. <laughs> Bye, guys. So you Just, left us behind, I, basically. Hey, I'm sorry, guys. There's something a little cooler on the market. See you later.